गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट इन दिस वीडियो विल रीड मोरल वैल्यूज चैप्टर वन गॉड आवर एटरनल गाइड बिफोर गोइंग टू द चैप्टर लेट्स नो व्हाट इज मोरल वैल्यूज मोरल वैल्यू इज द और द प्रिंसिपल्स दैट वन फॉलोज डिस्टिंग द राइट पाथ फ्रॉम रॉन्ग तो व्हाट्स मोरल वैल्यू मोरल वैल्यू इज द और द प्रिंसिपल्स दैट वन फॉलोज टू डिस्टिंग द राइट पाथ फ्रॉम रॉन्ग इट इज और द अनबिल्डिंग ऑफ कैरेक्टर ऑफ इंडिविजुअल फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऑनेस्टी लव हार्ड वर्क ट्रूथफुलनेस नाउ लेट्स रीड एंड अंडरस्टैंड द लेसन तो व्हाट इज नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज गॉड आवर एटरनल गाइड टू होम वी सी गाइड गाइड हु लेड अस हु शो द वेज टू मूव एटरनल हु एग्जिस्ट विद अस फॉर एवर सो गॉड आवर एटरनल गाइड मीन्स गॉड ऑलवेज विद अस एंड गाइड अस आवर लाइफ we should believe in god we should faith in god now as we start our school with a prayer here given a prayer in this chapter let's read the prayer oh god thank you for making my life happy and cheerful thank you for all the gifts you have given me and thank you for this beautiful world for strength for knowledge that helps me to move on right path so whatever the god given us that sufficient to move in a right path so we should thankful to god in the same way we should thankful to our parents as they bring us to this beautiful world on giving birth now let's read the chapter when we see around us we see many things such as houses doors windows tables chair now question is that who has made these what do you give answer if i ask who has made houses your answer will be builder yeah if i ask who made doors windows what do you answer you will answer carpenter now if i ask who does cook for you your mother but when i ask who has made this beautiful nature what will be your answer god has made this beautiful nature and everything in our mind many question arise but you know this whatever be the question god is the ultimate answer of all these question so children god is the prime reason for man's as well as nature existence now i am asking you how how many of you have seen a lesson god it may arise many question in your mind that who is god if he really exists then why is he hidden we why we we cannot listen or see but if you put all these questions together in your heart then we get the answer god is our heavenly father and guiding us continuously no matter whatever we believe in god or his existence or not whatever we pray him or not he is always with us in our sorrow as well as in happiness do you know the world itself is dark and weak it is full of sin error and uncertainty do you know who is the who is the best creation of god this is no doubt man is the best creation of god but without the bliss scholarly mind we are weak ignorant and helpless we cannot do anything of our own can you predict or say what will happen tomorrow or in in next moment we cannot man may only plan for future but only god knows all future event and save the density of mankind and it is led by god if you value happiness and success in life you have to believe in god if you do not know what to do which way to go what then just wait for the guardians of god god will surely guide you he will open the way give signal then move forward with full of confidence whatever it may be the obstacle god led you free from all the obstacle he throw the mountain on your way into sea he divides the water on your path in form of river and sea and led you pass through it 
so live humbly and praise the glory of God. In common, we are the human beings have the tendency to believe only what we see and that is region where there are some people have do not believe the doubt on existence of God. But you know this, but you know this, God is omnipresent, means God is present everywhere, God has no form, God is present above our head in form of sky, beneath our feet in form of soil, around us in form of air. One simple example I am giving, have you ever noticed when we are in trouble or in a grave situation, means in a problematic situation, we often say, oh God. Do you know what do you do that? It because God is deeply rooted in our soul. Or you can say God is present in our body. You feel his presence anywhere if you choose the right path. Path with full of love and care and kind to everyone. God is the unseen host. God is the unseen host of every event. Not a single leaf can move without his order. God is the primary and ultimate reason for everything. God has a set plan and also has a set future for our lives. He has set a timetable for us also. So we must faith in God. We should believe in frame of God. God knows what our need and he gives us all that. He frees us from tension as well as fear. We just have to patient. God has given us many things. God has given us strength, knowledge, wealth, etc. So we should be grateful to him. Then how can we show our gratitude towards God? We can show our gratitude towards God by helping the poor and needy people around us. As we read above the as we read above the only way that leads towards God is your heart. How does our heart how does our heart helpful us? So our heart should be pure and choose the right path. So give away all your fears and Move ahead. Remember, God is eternal power who always with us and guide us to move on right path. In the next video, we'll read how does God always remain with His devotees.